Okay, so today I'm continuing my series on reviews of toys that help us teach children about chickens, bees, and nature in general. Today we're looking at the Barbie Chicken Farmer. It's good for three years and older. Lots of small parts here, much like the other Barbies. You have to be careful and supervise your child. Barbie has over 200 careers. And here on the back is a picture of the beekeeping Barbie, which we just reviewed. So, when a girl plays with Barbie, she imagines everything she can become. Chicken farmers. They raise chickens and collect their eggs to sell for food. They use technology, science, and business skills to run a successful farm. Many farmers study animal science, dairy science, and agriculture economics in college. Do you love caring for animals? You might be a chicken farmer. So then here it is. Uh, she's still hooked to the backboard there. Barbie, in this case, has red hair, brown eyes, freckles. She's wearing a sleeveless t-shirt, and she's wearing what we used to call Daisy Duke's uh, denim shorts. So all the parts come with it. We're going to go over this a little bit. And she has uh, Wellington-style rubber boots to wear, which are kind of difficult to take off, although she's supposed to be interchangeable with other Barbie outfits. This is the coop, has an angled roof, open, of course, so that kids can play with it. Barbie's arms bend at the shoulders, not the elbows and not the wrist. So you have to put things over her hand if you want her to hold something. She cannot grip any of the things that are provided with this kit. It's a close-up of Barbie. She has freckles, probably not wearing her hat too much, getting too much sun. We have a white hen here sitting in the basket. Maybe that's a leghorn. And uh, it comes that way, but that hen is the same as the other hens included. There are three of them. Barbie does stand on her own, so if the surface is level, she can stand just fine. Any little nudge there, and she will fall off. Now here's the uh, boots. They're split down the back again, so you can take them off. Her hair looks like it's been razor cut. Pretty modern cut there, instead of the old-fashioned even straight cut across the back. So that's kind of good. Realistic, decent-looking hair if you have a child that wants to adjust and arrange Barbie's hair. Probably pull it back in a ponytail for farm work. We have the uh, chicken coop here, and it's divided into three sections, and there's this pink ramp. Looks pretty decent for chickens to walk up. Chickens would uh, definitely not hurt their feet there. The blue part here looks like it must be a water trough for the chickens to drink. How they get to it is anyone's guess. And then uh, here up by the nesting boxes, we have another trough that the little chicks are in front of here, and it looks like there's chicken feed in that trough right in front of the nesting boxes and there are four nest boxes only three of them are big enough to accommodate the hens and you get two chicks three hens and none of the hens have feet so they don't stand up they're always just sitting around so here's the whole coop ramp only goes to the bottom part does not reach to the top so i guess we're counting on the chickens to actually fly to the top and there's some kind of grass there at the bottom so maybe you're growing their food now if barbie wants to carry this uh, egg carton here she has to rest it on her arm because her hands don't grip anything. And her left arm is the bent arm. Her right arm remains straight, and there's nothing you can do about that. Here are the little chicks around her. Notice that Barbie is now barefoot. She cannot stand on her own when she's barefoot, so she has to lean on the coop. And uh, there you go. She does not bend at the knees, does not bend at the ankles. This is a very simple Barbie. Uh, this was purchased on Amazon. Kind of surprised at the lack of articulation of the limbs here. Now here are three hens and two chicks. Where do those come from without a rooster? There is no rooster in this kit. So that's kind of funny. I'm not super excited about this as an educational toy. I think uh, if kids want to play farm and they want to see a Barbie that has some chickens and get some idea about a chicken coop, that's okay. But uh, she's not very practical. She's not very mobile. Her arms are awkward. And uh, there's no rooster here. Thanks for watching. I give this 4 out of 5 stars.